back to a new video or welcome if you are new. It's 8.30 right now and I've been out for a couple of- on a trip. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I've been up for a couple of hours um, just doing things around the apartments, walking Augie, doing all that. And I'm now going to head to Pilates. I have a 9.30. Pilates class. Um, oh no, a nine o'clock Pilates class. Yeah. Um, I have a nine o'clock Pilates class. So I'm going to head over there now. And then after the class, I am going to grab a coffee next door because there's a coffee shop I like. And then I will fill you guys in on my plans for today. Um, later, I'm actually going to do work in a coffee shop later. So Lots of coffee shops today, but all that being said, we're going to drive over and I should get there right on time. Okay, let's do it. every single time I just don't ever work my muscles like that so I leave and I'm literally like my leg like I can't walk my legs like stop knowing how to walk and my abs like won't untense like I don't know how to explain it but my whole body's like this and it won't like undo because I'm like so not used to using my muscles like that because I'm always like doing more cardio based stuff where it's very much like a jump and then like cycling is very like elongating you know and then Pilates is like <laughs> <laughs> you know um, literally hurts to sit up straight but I'm gonna take my hair down because I want to it's only second day hair but I also grabbed a coffee from shortwave I really like this place it's definitely not as good as caffeine roasters I look so scary um, it's definitely not as good as caffeine roasters it's my favorite you guys know that but um, it is really good. And I like, I like to just like get it after like I do Pilates, like it's a little like treat. I just got a cold brew with a little bit of cream and then I added some stevia to it because this one's a little bit acidic. Um, and I'm gonna go home and eat breakfast, get ready for the day and then get my work day started. It's 10 a.m. now, so making good time. And then I think later today I'm gonna hang out with my friends. That is the plan. I'm honestly debating on going to the other coffee shop um, to do all my work. I might just do it from home, especially if I'm hanging out with my friends later and because I went to Pilates this morning. So we'll see also I got Judgy, Judgy McJudge staring at me right now. Okay guys, here's breakfast. Doesn't look the cutest, but it's gonna be delicious. Same as yesterday, you always see this breakfast, but. This is just my favorite. It's so good. Hi. Okay. I am all dressed for the day. I put on this set active little one piece and I feel so cute and I never feel cute about myself, but I feel really good in this today. Um, but I'm about to feed Augie and take him on a walk and then I'm going to feed myself because I'm honestly so, I literally just ate breakfast a couple hours ago, but I'm so hungry. I'm literally going to stand it like this the whole day so you can see my whole outfit. <laughs> Okay, I just got back. We ended up going to the dog park and guys, this is just an example of how I'm a people pleaser because I literally like, <laughs> okay, so um, we were in the dog park and we had been there for like a while and I was super hot, Augie was super hot. We just needed to leave. But right as I was about to leave, this girl came in with her dog who was like some sort of pit bull and I was like, oh my God, I don't want her to think that I'm leaving the park because of her dog. So I literally stayed there an extra like 15 minutes because I, even though I was like sweating because it's, it's beautiful outside, but it's like really hot because it's like noon. And um, I was like, I don't want her to think that I like don't want my dog around her dog. <laughs> so I stayed for longer than I wanted to, but. Anyways, now it's one o'clock and I'm gonna eat some lunch. Um, I think I'm gonna make some 
just leftovers. I'm not really craving a salad. I have sweet potato. I have, uh, what's this, broccoli, a little bit of ground turkey, but I think I'm not, I don't think I want ground turkey. I think I want a chicken sausage. Um, oh, actually, I'll finish the turkey and I'll do one chicken sausage. Um, I think I might just do a bowl with that. That sounds good. And, mm, ooh, I'll add like maybe some salsa on top. So I have this whole jar of salsa that I want to use up. And maybe I'll crush some tortilla chips on top too. That sounds kind of good. I'll take them out, but I'm gonna make up a little bowl. And yeah, I'll show you guys. He just got back from the dog park and he's so sleepy. I love tiring him out. Like it just makes me feel like such a good dog mom. <laughs> Whenever I like let him play enough to the point where he like cannot be awake any longer. Um, okay, I did that. I'm not doing this today. I'm just going through my to-do list. Here, we can do it together. I'm gonna write. Um, so what I have to do after I eat is I need to send a couple of texts to like my tax people, my financial advisor, things like that. And I need to figure out my life coaching situation. Cause I think I'm gonna dedicate some time to that, to that business and whatever. Um, but that is the plan. And then I'm gonna edit later, but I have to like be done by like 6.30. So I'm gonna kinda get a wiggle on cause it's already one. But um, obviously I have a lot of time still, but just not all the time in the world. Hey guys, I'm so excited. I officially, well, it has to get approved, but I've officially filed for my life coaching business, which let's chat about that for a sec. Okay, so I wanna kinda talk about just the whole life coaching situation. I feel like I get so many questions, you'll be like, what is that? Like things like that. So, okay. So I'm opening a life coaching business and Let's first talk qualifications. Um, in the state of Florida, like you don't need a specific life coaching certification. I actually don't think you need any qualifications to be honest in Florida um, because it's Florida. I don't know how it is in other states, but that does not shock me about Florida whatsoever. However, I do have a bachelor's in psychology with a concentration in child and adolescent development, which makes me very much qualified for this type of business. Um, and so a lot of people wonder if life coaching is like therapy and life coaching is most definitely not therapy. It is a very different thing. I am not qualified to be a therapist. You need a higher degree for that. You need further schooling. I am not a therapist, um, I'm not qualified to be a therapist, and I will never claim to be a therapist. I am a life coach, which is different in a lot of ways. It's similar in the fact that, you know, you meet up with your coach, your, you know, your person, your life coach, and you talk about you, and that's kind of the only similarity. So I just like want to make that clear. I think a lot of people kind of compare life coaching to therapy and it's just, it's very different. Um, so when you go to therapy, you know, you deal with unpacking trauma, you deal with mental health. Um, it can kind of come along with like mental health diagnoses and like medications and psychiatrics and um, things of that nature and, you know, like coping mechanisms and behavioral therapy and everything like that. that that's therapy, it's very different. Life coaching um, is kind of broad. People go about it in different ways. Um, but the way that I'm going to kind of run my life coaching business is you can sort of think of me as like your mentor or your big sister. And basically the way it'll work is you will hire me and we will get on video sessions um for now maybe in the future i'll make it like we can meet up if you're local but definitely not yet um but it'll be you know we get on a 
video call of some sort and we sit together and create a or basically you come to me and we together create a plan um for you to live your happiest healthiest best version of yourself so for example say someone someone comes in and they're like i just don't know what i want to do for college i feel really lost in life like I also really want to get into health and fitness, but I just can't, I don't have the motivation and I just feel like I just am going nowhere in life, blah, blah, blah. I'd work with you on, we'd, we'd be like, okay, well, let's think about what are your interests. And we'd go through like things that interest you, things you like to do. And then together we would kind of look into what schools maybe offer things that you'd be interested in, or maybe the school you choose isn't so important, but the location of it is. So we'll kind of brainstorm like, okay, what, what weather makes us happiest? What places have we visited that we really, really love? Do we want to be far or close to family? Everything like that and find schools um, that kind of would go along with like your preferences. And I kind of help you with that search. And then we're like, okay, well, you really want to get into health and wellness and, and fitness and everything. That's awesome. So let's make a plan. What's realistic and sustainable for you? Do you want to work out once a week? Do you want to work out six times a week? Um, what kind of workouts do you like to do? Blah, blah, blah. And we create like a plan. We brainstorm together. I motivate you, um, give you advice, give you words to live by, suggestions, everything like that. So. It's very much like you're going to a best friend for advice, life advice, life coaching. It's just that I am like a professional rather than just like best friend. You know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of how it'll work for now. It'll look different for everyone as well. I'm still working on a lot, obviously, like pretty much everything. I literally just filed for my LLC, so there's so much more to do before it'll be up and running. But... Um, and I'm also still figuring out pricing and everything because obviously I want it to be accessible and affordable to a lot of you, but I also, it is my career and I want it to be realistic and sustainable for me. Um, and I also need it to be competitive and realistic in terms of what other life coaches in my area are charging. Um, additionally, like it's, not like I'm going to be posting about it on social media and things like that to help myself get clients and everything, but it's very much separate from my online presence like it is and it, it will be somewhat connected just because it's me and my, my social media is me, but like it's different, you know, um, it's kind of like its own separate legal thing and I have to keep that in mind like it's, it's my second profession and I can't just be like oh well I want all my all my followers to be able to get life coaching for free because then I, that's just not realistic for me like I have business fees I have things that I legally need to keep up with um, that comes along with owning a business and I can't just you know give everything away for free or give everything at a price that won't be profitable for me so just keep that in mind but I'm still working through all that and um, I do know for sure that I, I won't be taking insurance. It'll just be like an out-of-pocket cost, but it's kind of all I can say right now, but I'm so, so excited. I'm excited to sh tell you guys like the name of it and everything like that. Um, and I know I said like a, it's separate from my social media and it is, but I also sort of want to make it like all kind of just like a bubble of me and, um, I think that it'll be really cool to one day like make little sweatshirts that have like the business name on it and things like that. So anyways, I'm very happy to do that. There's more I have to do, but I'm going to stop there for today because um, kind of the next step I have to do is like open a bank account and that's just simply not happening, not happening today. So I'm going to move on to um, editing because I sent the text that they're the texts that I needed to send to my like financial people and everything because tax season's coming about once again, you guys. So that's that, but we're going to get to editing 
Europe vlog part three. I want to make another coffee. Um, I don't know what I want to make. If I want to make a latte or if I want to make a hot coffee or a cold brew or go grab one. Oops. I'm having such a good day. It's crazy. Like the warm weather is just like everything I need and more. I just put you on my Le Creuset thing. I don't know why I've never put you there before. It's like perfect. But I'm gonna make a coffee. I decided I'm gonna make one, my second one at home since I got one out earlier. It feels weird because I usually really like to leave the house to go get a coffee in the afternoon. It's two, two, two. Um, but I already got one this morning and I really don't wanna get two. So I'm gonna make a little latte at home. And I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. I think I showed this in my last vlog too. But I've been doing half cashew milk, half almond milk, and then a little splash of the Starbucks Zero Sugar Hazelnut Creamer. And normally, you guys, I only do two shots of espresso but I really want this to be strong and I don't have single shots. So I think I'm gonna make a quad shot latte right now. And I feel like the only reason I'm excusing this, okay, I don't even, this lighting is so bad. The only reason I'm excusing this is because I don't think that the Nespresso pods are very caffeinated. So that's my excuse. I would do three, but I don't have a single. I only have doubles. And then I could stop it halfway, but then you don't get the delicious crema on top. So, yeah. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna edit. I love editing. I love YouTube so much, you guys. Like, I love vlogging. I love editing. I just love YouTube. Like, seriously, love it so much. I didn't change my battery. But I'm just so grateful for you guys. And I can't believe, like, how much my YouTube has grown. Because it's, it's like my slowest growing platform, but it's like. Just so cool to watch it grow. It's like my little baby. So yeah, and then I'm so excited to go rock climbing with my friends later. Did I say I'm doing that? We're going rock climbing and I cannot wait. Also, I need to get my nails done and I was gonna do it today, but I'm going rock climbing, so I don't want to, but they're atrocious and so long. I hate how long they are right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm scared of myself. There's only two in there right now and it already looks <laughs> nice and strong but i always do too and it's never strong enough so ew the straw's low-key kind of dirty here she comes oh baby oh baby the fact that i already had an entire cold brew earlier scares me but look at the color of this it's absolutely perfect are we kidding this either can be really burnt and gross or delicious. So good. <laughs> All right, it's... I love that song. Why is my car clock in... Oh, there we go, it picked itself. Okay, I am going to go get my nails done because I finished up my work. Um, and yeah, that's my plan. It's four o'clock, did I already say that? My car um, is suggesting that I go to Caffeine Roasters right now. Let's go get our nails done. So excited. Okay, guys, just got out of the nail salon. I got this little, little, <laughs> I got this, I just said little again, this spring green color. I normally will just get, I mean, like, before I started getting my nails done again, I would always just get, like, a very neutral color. But ever since I started up again, I started to get, like, color colors. And I think it's so fun. Like this is a very spring coming into the picture again nail um, in honor of it being literally 80 degrees today. It was the most perfect weather. Like lately it has been, but today was like, cause it was like a little bit hotter. But so it's five o'clock now. I'm gonna go home and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna take Augie to the dog park again. I'm gonna like talk and drive. Um, because I, like I mentioned, I'm gonna go rock climbing and 
I just feel bad because he's gonna be in the crate for like a little bit just because rock climbing is like 45 minutes each way and then I'll be there for like an hour or two. So I'm just gonna be going for a little bit and I just feel bad. Cause I also went and did this and like earlier I went to Pilates. So I just want him to be able to run around and get some energy out. Um, so I'm gonna go play fetch at the dog park. It's five o'clock so there honestly will probably be a lot of dogs there I feel. Um, just because people probably get out of work and take their dogs to the park. Um, you also literally can't see me, but I really like this nail color. It's growing on me. I wish I had a little bit of a tan. I feel like it would look better. But I think it's really cute and it's different. Um, yeah. Did you so much fun at the park? We're on our little walk back home. Oh. <laughs> Is what he wants but we're gonna go walk back now and then my friends are coming over soon we're back baby hey you miss us? <laughs> Did you miss like, oh, the girls walkers. are back mine is natalie Rip. is she coming over guys this necklace every time i wear it something good happens to me what is it of it's a horseshoe oh did you just get it? Because I've never oh God, seen you wear it. Did you just press the SOS button? Oh, is no. that what that it, is? It's on, it's on, it's green. Does no, that no, mean... no, I think it's, I think it's good. Uh, I don't know what that does. No. I've never seen you wear it. It's cute though. I wear it literally once in a while. It's just like from Revolve. What's that place called? Um, um, no, um, Vertical Adventures or something like that. Oh yeah. How did you know? I looked it up today. How did you know which one it is? There's, There's only one. one. Mm -hmm. I just have the mail room. Okay, guys, we're going rock climbing. First time rock I had your male hostage. I know. Um, yes, we're virgins. I've only been twice. Your crack is getting deep. Mm hmm. I have an appointment. Crack where? In her windshield. Oh, what? My insurance covered it fully, though. That's, That's good. good. Vertical Ventures. What? Squirrel. Literally, her brain is the size of me. It's Rayleigh and Kelsey's first time. <laughs> <laughs> did, she, did she tell you about how she did that on the phone the other day? No. She barked at somebody on the phone. <laughs> at work. They were like, Dia some dog. I was like, woof, woof, dog. <laughs> this place is so fun. If you guys live in the Tampa, St. Pete area, recommend. Guess who? <laughs> no rock climbing. Kelsey and Rayleigh are getting a tour of the place. Look, I have a sleeper build, guys. So we bah. I do too. Look, he, I do. Look, I look so scrawny and then. Yeah, yeah. You do have pretty big muscles. She looks We'll get um, footage of us climbing. Guys, I'm gonna do the cr craziest, hardest course of all time. Stop! <laughs> That level two. Oh, I did that one last time, I think. I remember last time I was swinging my life. Get it, girl. Dang. Look right here. If you like straddled the wall, you could like. <laughs> You got it. Yeah, girl. Dang, look at those muscles. Muscle, mommy. Muscle, mommy. Good job. Hello, sir. I am back home from rock climbing. I look so scary at the moment, um, but I just body showered, but I didn't wash my hair because I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning. But, um, yeah. I need to clean this rug right now because Augie just had an accident on it. But I'm gonna end up this vlog here because I'm super tired. And 
Um, yeah, I love you all so much, and I will see you guys so super soon in the next video.